I thought you might like to see the new Knit and Purl tool in action. Fundamentally, this is the same tool we've been enjoying for quite some time. Let me get the loom out of the way so you can just see the tool. The handle is shaped like the large handle version has been, but it's a little bit smaller and it's made of a different material, which I don't really know the name of. It feels good in the hand. There's a little bit of an upgrade about the collar here that I think is going to make it sturdier, even though I really hadn't had any difficulties with the original version. And it works just exactly like the original version. I am ready here for two knit stitches. I'm not going to belabor the point of how it works because I've got other detailed videos on it. But I will tell you as you watch that the weight and heft of this one and its size are very, very comfortable to use. It gives you plenty of leverage to do the work without being hard to handle. My hands are on the small side. Since hands match feet, I'll tell you, I wear size six and a half shoes. So these aren't any weeny hands by any stretch, but they're on the small side. And I'm not having the slightest bit of trouble manipulating the tool. It does not make my hand tired to hold. However, look at it in my hand. You will see that somebody with substantially longer hands has room to gri grip it. I actually hold it almost like a pencil, not quite. And I approach my stitches. What am I ready for? Knits or pearls? Knits. I approach my stitches at a slight angle. This is really because I'm using a kiss loom and there's an opening in there. See? And it works perfectly to slide my tool down the opening, rock it, and hook it up. So for me, this is very comfortable, but I believe if my husband, who has larger hands than I loom knitted, he would still find it comfortable. The screwing up is free. You don't have to pay extra for that. There we go. That's better. Anyway, I think you'll enjoy yours when you get it.